the day was August 23rd. I was in ninth, I was in 10th grade and I finally decided I was gonna delete social media. I was watching all these YouTube videos on the negative effects of social media, how it makes you feel like a, the lowest person in your space of people in your mind. It makes you, you're seeing everyone else's, all their, the best experiences of their life, that maybe they went skydiving, maybe they, maybe it's the homecoming pictures, maybe it's this party they had without you. You see all these pictures, and it's all you see on Instagram, for example. That's all you see on Instagram, okay? People aren't posting the boring times of their life. They're only posting, they're only posting the times where they had the most fun. And when you see these times all the time, when you just open Instagram, that 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 does something to your brain mentally, okay? It, it makes you feel less worth. It makes you feel like your life is boring and everyone else's isn't, okay? And that leads you to just like, trust me, if someone is taking a picture of something, they're probably not having fun, okay? And if, if you're like, actually like, if you're at a party and then you just take a video of everyone at the party, like, you're probably not having fun, okay? I could just tell by that alone. So yeah, social media is a myth, okay? We all know social media is bad. We all know it's bad. We all know that stuff, okay? But I have this interesting approach to it, okay? I honestly think you shouldn't delete social media. I made this mistake last year and I could have had something great right now if I didn't delete social media. I could have been building my personal brand. But even if you don't have like a YouTube channel or you're trying to be an influencer, even if you're not like trying to be like that, okay? You shouldn't delete your social media, okay? Because eventually you will need it for something in your life, okay? So it's good to learn how to use it. I honestly think you shouldn't even use it like more than a couple minutes a day. Because the only reason you should be using it is for messages and stuff, okay? If you're just scrolling, looking at people's posts, stories, come on, stop looking at people's stories. You don't get anything from looking at anyone's story, anyone's posts. You don't get anything from that, okay? That's just a waste of your time and your mental energy. You don't want to waste it on that. So what I've been doing is I got social media like a couple weeks ago. I got Instagram. That's the only one I got. And why I got it was one of the reasons was because, yeah, I'm an influencer. But the other one, which I think applies to all of us, is you could use social media. You could have social media on your phone, but just not use it, you know. And that's so much more powerful than just not having it on your phone in the first place. Because what it does is it trains your mental willpower as a muscle. Like if you have the apps on your phone, if you have, if you have uh, all, all the apps, if you have Instagram, Snapchat, if you have all those apps, even TikTok, if you have all those apps on your phone and then you choose not to click on those apps, that makes you a stronger person overall, okay? I'm not saying to download Snapchat or Instagram or TikTok. I'm not saying to download them and then use it, okay? I'm, I, I think any amount of Instagram is bad, honestly. Any amount of Instagram, even checking the messages, okay? That's just a waste of time, okay? But eventually you will need to do that. And because eventually you will need to do this, you will, it will come in the future. You know this will come in the future. It's good to train that muscle right now, that mental muscle. Dang, these kids are screaming. <laughs> but yeah, you should prepare right now instead of later, okay? Because if you just delete social media, you're just gonna hop onto Netflix for five hours. Once you hop onto Netflix, maybe you're trying to get that down. You're gonna start binge eating junk food, okay? It's a never ending cycle. But you have to go to the root of the problem itself, not the problem, okay? So if you're addicted to Netflix, don't delete Netflix, okay? Just just stop using it. Don't delete it, just stop using it, okay? Put it in front of you. Like I talked about this in another video. I might have mentioned it if you watched all my videos, you might have heard this. I put a I put a Reese's bar on my desk whenever I'm working. I used to do this, not anymore, but I put a Reese's bar there and then I would try not to eat it. I, I would have it right there and I would try not to eat it. And this is one of the ways I tried increasing my like mental willpower because I didn't have social media. So like there wasn't a lot of ways I could do it, but that's a, that's a good way to do it. So like maybe you can make this an actionable step for you, okay? 
go buy your favorite chocolate bar and then put it on your desk. And the thing is, you probably, you will, you eventually, you will, you will eat the chocolate bar, okay? But that's not the thing. That's not the problem, okay? It, the, the thing we're measuring here is how long it takes you to eat the chocolate bar again and again, okay? Maybe the first time it takes you three days to eat the chocolate bar. The next time, it's going to take you five days. And then the next time, a week. And then maybe it'll get up to a month. And then imagine that. Imagine what it'll, that'll do for your diet, you know? So, yeah. It's a bit unconventional. It, this is a bit of an unconventional approach to deleting social media, but it could be applied to anything. Like, don't, don't not buy the junk food. Well, you shouldn't buy junk food, but I'm saying, like, if you have junk food in your house, don't throw it away. Just keep it there. Just keep it there and test your willpower all the time, okay? People, uh, these people in the self-improvement space, they say willpower is such a, it's, willpower is bad. You don't need to use willpower. Just change your environment, your environment. But I honestly disagree with that, okay? Because if you, you, you can't always change your environment. You're eventually going to come across your obstacle. Maybe it's junk food. Maybe it's the clicking on social media. Maybe it's, you know, the haram videos on the internet. It, it all just depends, okay? But that's really all I got to say. Think big. Forrest Faisal, out.